Hey, good afternoon. Steve again, KF5J Web. So, got another video. I've been doing some research on some of the sideband features on the 991A, FT991A. And a couple of them that I'm interested in are what they call the IF shift operation. And the second one we'll talk about today is the DSP bandwidth. So, I do not profess to be an expert at these, but I think if I can at least show you how to get to them uh, when propagation is running, you might be able to uh, use them. Uh, but mainly, I just wanted today. I just want to go through and show you real briefly what uh, what this uh, first one does. This shift is, and I'm going to zoom in here just so I can kind of illustrate the example here that they give. Single sideband, as we know, runs about 2.8 to 2.4 kilohertz bandwidth. And the FT991A is defaulted to 2.4 kilohertz. So what this feature does is it allows you to actually look at the center frequency, which is your right here, and then it has the bandwidth here. You see 1.2 kilohertz on one side of the center frequency and 1.2 kilohertz on the other side. What this does is this actually allows you to shift the entire window over. Now when I say the window I mean the entire 2.4 kilohertz window. So think of it like this when you use this what you're doing is is if you have uh, QRM interference, for example, if you're at 28400 and you've got QRM down here at say 28 or 20, 28399 something, you can actually adjust that and shift that over to where all you're listening to is the frequency you want to, which is, for example, 28400 and that 283995 uh, over here is completely out of your listening spectra so you no longer are hearing that interference. Same thing is you can also uh, yeah, see desired signal in QRM so what that does is that shifts it over. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how to do that on the radio and uh, this is the steps I came up with. Um, you want to make a note here just verify you're an upper sideband press the FM list uh, select shift Turn the multi knob until the desired results. Rotate the multi knob to the left and to the right to reduce interference. It's kind of a repeat. Uh, the shift is going to be uh, 1.2 uh, or 1200 hertz to one side and 1200 hertz from the frequency. And then to get out of it, press MCH. So let me go over and demonstrate that real quick. And again, there's no propagation running right now, so unfortunately, it doesn't really. Uh, I'm going to reposition this here for a second. Sorry about that. I should have had that a little bit better prepped. So right now we're in VFO mode. So to access this, watch, watch my driving of the chair here. What we'll do first is we'll go ahead and go to uh, VFO or um, VFO mode. And what I'll do first is I'm going to go back and use one of my things I showed you earlier from band stacking. So if I want to, for example, if I want to go to 28400 because that's where I want to talk. So if I go to band and 28, there it is. I just went there. And again, if I went to band 28 again, it'll scroll through those earlier. If you watched my video earlier, I, I did a, a video on band stacking. But I want to be on 28400, so to go there real quickly, just press band and 28, and there I am. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go into MCH mode. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press FM list and I'm going to look for an option that says shift. Right there. There's the option for shift. So let me show you something here. You notice right next to it it has width. And the width I told you was 2.4 kilohertz. And that's the default. And remember, on anything, any of these settings, uh, I believe on the uh, Yesu stuff, if it's blue, that's typically the default. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Shift. Now when I click Shift, 
this is going to populate up here and what you're going to see is you're going to see the entire 2.4 kilohertz spectrum so when I press shift watch what happens there we go now if you look real close the actual center frequency is right here 28400 so if I want to for example shift that entire uh, entire bandwidth over what I would do here is I'll use the multifunction knob and I'll shift that over to the right and if you notice see how the line is going to the right of the center frequency which is the red dot and if I go left it goes to the left so if I've got noise somewhere in here I can actually move over here and get the noise out go back to the center frequency and when I'm done I'll press MCH. I'm going to go ahead and activate the squelch and I'm going to do that here turn my antennas real quick see if anybody's on the air going to touch MCH here. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. And we'll see, we might get somebody, you never know. The thing about 10 meters is, if everybody's listening, no one's hearing anything, so you get out there and put your call sign out. And uh, again, I'm at, I'm at 5 watts. Check our voltage here. I got a new uh, PowerWorks power supply. Let me make sure. KI5JUF testing. And we're right there at 14.1 volts, which the FT991A can actually tolerate, I think they said 12.5 up to almost 15 volts, so I'm not too worried about that. So, okay, well, that's a demonstration there. Uh, again, press the FM list, shift, adjust as needed. And when you're done, press MCH again to get back out of it. So let's look at the other one real quick. And we'll try to do two of them in one video. So the other one I want to talk about is the uh, bandwidth filter. So there's the steps there. Now what this one does is this actually shrinks the bandwidth from, for example, 2.4... Uh, and it, it increases it so let's take a look at that so we'll go back here and pan over to the radio again what we'll do next is we'll clear this make sure we're in memory channel mode press FM list and then we're going to click uh, select width now this is where I talked about the default setting is 2.4 kilohertz. I can narrow that or I can expand that. And 3200 is the max. So that's the bandwidth setting. Pretty straightforward. Again, I don't profess to be an expert on these two. My main purpose of the video here was just to show you how to find them. And if you've got uh, skip operations going, you know, propagation going on, you don't use them. The DNR is also another powerful one. Uh, you can actually select it, and uh, with the DNR on, it will actually um, filter out, and it's really doing a good job there. It's cleared out a lot of that noise. And I'm going to turn it back off. And again, to get back to where you can operate the radio to get that off of there, just press MCH, and that'll take that back off. So, those are the two mo Those are the two things I wanted to go over. Uh, again, um, another thing I'll show you that we did a while back was uh, quick memory banks. And what I've got here is I've got five frequencies programmed in the recall store: frequency one, frequency two, frequency three, frequency four, and frequency 5 and then it rolls back over. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the squelch there and clear that. So 
All right, well, that's the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, like I said, this is all new. I'm learning it, but a lot of it kind of makes sense to me, and I hope at least this, this video will get you to the proper adjustments and have an awareness of it. So, anyway, this is K5JUF. Have a good day, 73.